beneath a tarnished sky of blistering red, a market like no other sprawls grotesquely in the heart of the unforgiving inferno. They call it Sharon's Meat House, a wretched spectacle that makes even the most stalwart hearts shiver. Rows upon rows of crude stall stand, cobbled together with rickety planks, each more warped and scarred than the last. The pungent aroma of raw meat intertwines with the acrid sting of sulfur, forming a bouquet of odors that hangs heavy in the scorched air. The butchers, eerily faceless, go about their gruesome craft with a chilling efficiency. Their muscular forms, as though chiseled from granite, move with mechanical precision. They swing their cleavers rhythmically, each stroke landing with a sickening squelch as it severs flesh from bone. Their aprons, once white as the purest of snows, are now canvas of carnage, paint splattered in hues of red. Caged creatures of unspeakable form cower in the shadows, awaiting their fate with a terrified silence. The cries and whimpers that once filled the air have long since faded, replaced by a deafening silence that resonates more than any scream ever could. The patrons, grim figures of smoky silhouettes, peruse the selection with a cold, calculated indifference. They negotiate prices in a guttural language, the sound of it like stones scraping against steel as they barter over chunks of still quivering meat. In this charnel house of hell, a carnivore's carnival, the grotesque dance of death and commerce continue unabated, a haunting testament to the merciless underbelly of the inferno. And despite its sheer horror, the faceless butchers continue their work, each chop, slice, and cut an eerie ballet in this hellish theater.